Hello. Good evening and welcome to Interview Mondays. Hello. And thank you for joining. So today, I feel a bit odd to do this today because I feel like um, we have a little more daylight with this, the clocks going back uh, from where, where we are anyways. Um, uh, sorry, the clocks going forward. So it feels like it's brighter. I'm so used to doing it and it's dark outside, but I'm so excited to interview <laughs> Ashley from Golden Oak Design Company. Um, so... Thank you so much for having me, Jacqueline. Yeah, I'm so excited to um, spend some time with you. Um, so let's get started. Tell everyone your Instagram handle and introduce yourself. Yes, my name is Ashley Levitt, and my Instagram handle is Golden Oak Design Co. Um, yeah. Awesome. And so which city do you work out of currently, or what cities do you cover currently? So I cover the Phoenix metro area. So my projects are in Scottsdale, Phoenix, Paradise Valley, Gilbert. So basically the whole Phoenix metro area. Oh, wow. Yeah, Scottsdale's beautiful. I've been to that part of the country and it's so beautiful. I wish I could just buy a home and move there. Uh, it's pretty. It's <laughs> so really pretty. I design one of my projects. <laughs> I know. It is. Um, so tell me a little bit about your business and yourself. Okay, so I started my business um, three years ago. And I, again, like what I said, I my projects are all over the valley. Um, I also have a project currently outside of Park City, Utah that I'm working on. So which is kind of fun as well. But I really, I just enjoy it. I enjoy making homes more beautiful. I enjoy... I mainly do residential um, interior design and I enjoy working with clients and their families to improve their homes. And especially going through the pandemic, I mean, homes are the most personal places and the place where we spend a majority of our time. And so I like creating spaces that work with the functionality of for the families that I work with and just making them more beautiful. So yeah, and you know, uh, being a realtor, I love homes. I yes. love homes. I love everyone's home. You know, yes. uh, I mean, it's exciting when you go into a home, right? Like, you, you know, you're like, oh my God, look at this. You can never get bored of, right. of looking at design and homes and, you know. Um, right. So so I see on your Instagram handle, I mean, I love your page. Um, and yeah. I see you're a mom, you. you're a designer. And then I see you take on yes. the construction part as like, well, you, you, you oversee the construction as well. Um, so tell us a little bit more about how you juggle all these hats. I know, right? There, there are <laughs> definitely a lot of hats that I wear. Um, so I am a mom. I have six kids in total. Oh. I'm, so I'm a stepmom oh. as well. So three of my yeah. children are my stepchildren. And, um, and so it's busy, it's really busy. And especially at the start of the pandemic, when my children were, you know, doing school from home. And that's actually when things just got very busy for both my husband and I and my husband is Brad Levitt with AFT construction. And so construction was never, um, it was considered an essential business. And so for him, both of us, it was just very busy. And I, at the time started three homes that were all within five homes of each other. So they were in the same neighborhood. These women were all good friends and um, it was crazy and busy, but I loved it. And I created different spaces for each of them. And I feel like if I could get through that time period, you know, with at home school and just juggling everything I feel like I can get through anything <laughs> so yes, absolutely yes and so I I enjoy the construction aspect of interior design I love watching you know my designs and vision come to life and that's probably why I enjoy you know showing it on my feed and my stories as well I enjoy walking my projects to check on everything and you know 
the framing part is just as exciting to me as the paint and tile installation. And I don't know, I think it's fun for people to see all of the progress as well. And even for them to learn or, you know, they might be thinking about doing projects in their own home. So it's kind of fun for them to see different tips and tricks and not just the pretty picture at the end of a project when so much yeah. and so many people have gone into making a vision come to life. So, so yeah, so I, I enjoy yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's uh, so true. I mean, it's nice that you post those pictures. I mean, I love your page. Um, I oh, love your you. designs as well. So um, they're just absolutely beautiful. And, you know, there's all these people looking for tips and ways to get connected. And um, so um, I, I wanted to ask you, do you do um, like design consultations as well? Like, or just uh, projects, full on projects? Do you do like you know, if someone were to contact you, I know this is um, not something I asked you, but um, if someone were to contact you for um, yes. just like a mood board or a little bit of a vision being like, I see that you're in Phoenix, right? So if there's yes. someone who were to call, contact you from somewhere else to, to get one of those, uh, put some ideas into place, would you do that? Or is that something yes. you haven't? Yes. Oh, okay. So, Perfect. And I have a few of those right now from across the country that I work with and put together you know, a, a design even just for their home office since they're working exclusively from home. And um, I've also helped with others who have their, you know, home and all of their selections made, but they want a, another set of eyes on it. And so they've contacted and hired me just to look through everything and give my input on their selections to make sure, you know, everything will work well together since it is somewhat, you know, of a puzzle with interior design. So I enjoy... I enjoy and do it all, so, which I love. Excellent. So on the design front, I mean, you know, maybe tell our, our, our audience a little bit how, about how you work, how, you know, how, you, how they can get in touch with you, um, the whole night. Yes. No, absolutely. Through DM on my Instagram page is probably one of the best ways to reach out to me, and then I can provide my contact information. Um, and then typically I'll meet with a client. If they're here in the Valley, I will go, whether it's a remodel or a new build, go and meet with them, kind of explain my process. Um, and if it's a remodel, um, I'll walk the project with them. And um, I enjoy remodels, I think, because they are, they do move quickly. And it's also fun to transform a space. You are a little more restricted with what you can do or not do, but it's also like a fun puzzle to me as well. So of how I can improve the functionality of a home as well as beautify it and make it work well for my clients. So I enjoy that. But typically I'll meet with a client and then within a month of that, I will have a first draft of a design plan together and we'll meet and make changes and I'll come up with more options for them if there are different items that they don't like. But at that first meeting, it's critical, I think, to find out from your client what their needs are, maybe what finishes they're drawn to and things that they don't like, just so that you can save time during the design process of in including things that just don't work for your client. Because at the end of the day, it's their home and it needs to work for them and their family. So, yeah, And that, that is well said, really, because, I mean, I know sometimes people get you know, like tunnel vision. Like for me, I mean, if you look at my home, you'll probably think, oh my God, she's all like, you know, no. but I picked up stuff that I like, right? It's not about what yes. you like, it's about mm -hmm. what I like. And, and sometimes I think people, um, it's, it's good to be able to say, like, I know sometimes people will say, oh, I like this style, but really when they start picking out stuff, they're on a totally different level. Yeah. Oh, I like modern. And when they start picking out all of their tile, they're right. like far no, from true. modern, right? So it's a yes. So Absolutely. I'm sure you come across that quite a bit. So yes, no, it's true. So and and how much time uh, would you say you know it would take for you to either start a job or um, complete it? I know it depends on mm -hmm. um, you know how what they're doing, but you know typically yes. give us a little bit of insight as to really it it depends on the the design process with the client and how many changes are made 
And that can, you know, you accrue more time that way if there are, you know, more changes. But at the end of the day, I always want my clients to be happy with every item that's included. Because the last thing I want is for them to walk into a room in their home and have a light fixture and it just bother them. So I, I like to make sure that they love everything that's selected. So really it just, it depends on the client. There are ones who are more trusting, you know, with me through that process and will just, mm -hmm. you know, give me more free range. Um, and then there are others, you know, who do like to have input. And honestly, I, I enjoy working with both. So really it depends, but ultimately it's, it typically takes about a few months during that um, drafting process. So I'll come up with the first draft and then we typically meet again two weeks after that. And I've made revisions and then it just keeps going typically about every two weeks until everything is decided. And I feel like construction runs so much more smoother after every decision is made. That way you're ready. Like you're ready to go. There aren't changes that are being made or decisions that still have to be made during the construction process because that just can create a headache for everyone. So it's better to have the design ready to go, all all agreed upon, and then construction is ready to take over from there. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. So um, and then uh, for people um, who have these big projects, uh, do you typically ask them to like, do they find a different place to live or? Um, how We've had so. Like I've typically had both. I've had instances where with remodels that they, the clients are living in the home. Um, I think it's always better for everyone if, if they aren't living in their home, but it can still work even with them living in their home. Um, but once again, I think it works well when they let the construction process happen and, you know, just let people complete their jobs. If you're looking to do a remodel, I think it's, it's, so obviously you can always give your input it's for the client but typically it can run a lot smoother when clients aren't living in the home but i've i've done both and both scenarios have worked well and so really just depends on the client and their situation so that's fabulous and so i want to be able to showcase you the best way possible so like i want to make sure i haven't left up anything uh, whatsoever. So if I like, just tell me everything I need to know about you. Okay, I, so I typically, I, my background, I, I feel like I grew up in a family that loved real estate. My father was a developer. My mother studied interior design. Her father was a draftsman slash architect. And so I grew up, you know, we would go to, um, visit different homes and, and I don't know. And I love probably my husband and I favorite thing is travel, which when the pandemic happened, you know, couldn't happen as, as much, but um, that's really where I find inspiration from. And I feel like I do have an imagination. Like I can walk a room and when I'm in the design process, it's like I'm back in that room in space where I can remember different things. And I always, during my design process, I like to think about where are my client's eyes going when they enter a room? What are mm -hmm. they seeing? And then focusing on those areas. And it's the same with kids in a home. Like where are the kids walking past every day? And then what can we do in that site to make an impact for the children, you know? And so I think it's important to take those things into consideration when designing a home, how, how can we improve the functionality of the home? You know, it's important mm -hmm. to listen to your clients of what's working or not working in their home um, and what improvements I can take from there to just make it all work better for them. Um, and a lot of my designs that are listed on my page, I have more projects that haven't been photographed yet, but that will soon, um, that showcase different styles so that it does like take into account my client's style and what makes them comfortable but I always like in the entry as well to make a wow moment and I try to do that in every space as well just when walking by a space you know that their friends when they're there are like wow and how do I want them to feel and how can I 
make that happen through paint, through wallpaper, through flooring, through the decor. And I think really everything should have a purpose in the design of a home so that it makes the client and their guests and family feel a certain way where they want to be there, you know? And so mm -hmm. I feel like I try to do that for each of my clients and I really spend a lot of my time trying to make that happen for them. And so I, I don't like to repeat items as well in my designs, but I also, again, take into account what my client is looking for. And I think that's most important, so. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's the most important aspect, right? To be able to give them what they're looking for. And sometimes yes. I think you're their eyes because they um, want something and you're expressing exactly what they want. So it's just, uh, yes. I mean, I love your page. It's Thank you so much, Jacqueline. For a while. I know and you are I so kind. So excited Thank you. That, yeah. And I'm so excited that, you know, I'm in Canada and I wish, yes. you know, we were like, and, you know, closer, IBS right? Or, Yes, so we could do this in person, yeah. which would be so fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I've definitely. loved corresponding but with you through I... Instagram. Your messages have always been so kind and supportive. And so thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Um, and so I wanted to take a little bit of time just to um, interview you today, of course. And I know, I know we're not in the same city, but it doesn't mean we can't, like I couldn't interview you. And, yes. um, and I wanted to showcase you because I think um, you're fabulous. No, thank and you. Sure, thank you. Um, yeah, so, and for people who haven't discovered you yet, uh, hopefully they will go and um, go on your page and, um, you know, get to work with you. Thank and, you. Um, and for me, um, my name is Jacqueline Watson. I'm a realtor with Sutton Group Tower. I've been... Um, interviewing businesses, um, small, big, doesn't matter, just on um, Instagram. And it's every Mondays at, Mondays at six. And I've been doing this just to support and grow businesses. Um, so thank you so much for, you know, spending this time with me. I really appreciate it. And thank for you. all of you watching, thank you for supporting us and watching today. Yes, so thank you so much again, up. Jacqueline. You're welcome. Maybe give them your Instagram handle one more time so that people can get in touch with you. Yes. Again, my name is Ashley Levitt and my Instagram handle is gold and oak design co all spelled out. So thank you so Perfect. much. Again. Yeah, you're welcome. And I look forward to your upcoming um, features on thank Instagram. Thank you so much. So thank you. Thank you, and Jacqueline. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.